Marriage is one of these pillar moments in the life of individuals that they stop being individuals and come together as one. But it's also where our life completely turns the new chapter into something that is a brand new adventure unlike anything before that would have felt similar. Michael, finally, the day we've been planning for a year, talking about since high school and dreaming about since the day we first met, it's finally here. Our love story started so long ago, and that's just the beginning. I cannot wait to start this new chapter of life with you. There's no one that can make me smile like you do, <laughs> frustrate me, or soothe me quite like you do. When the days get hard or stressful, you always know the exact words to say to keep me calm. God knew I needed a man just like you. Thank you for always loving and supporting me in everything I do. No matter where this life takes us or what obstacles may come, as long as we have one another and God, we will be just fine. I cannot wait to celebrate with you tonight. See you at the altar. Love, your baby girl, Miranda. Miranda, the time we have always hoped and dreamed of is finally here. It seems like yesterday we was laying down together, talking about the wedding of our dreams, down to every last detail. I knew without a doubt that you were always the one I was going to marry. You are simply the most beautiful person inside and out. You understand me better than anyone. You have made me a better person because of your presence in my life. You have taught me so much throughout our time together. You have taught me how to love endlessly, how to be selfless, how to be patient, how to be kind. And you taught me how to strive to be a better person through Christ each and every day. I promise to love you through the good times and the bad. I always knew I wanted to marry a godly woman, and you were just that. I thank Jesus every day for putting you in my life. Without you, everything seems so incomplete. So today and the rest of my days, I choose you forever and always. You are my very best friend, and you have my whole heart. Without a doubt, you are God's purpose for me. You make this day so easy to say, I do. Here's to forever. Your husband, Michael. Your beautiful sweetheart. Oh my God. Oh. of a biblical marriage as a team. You guys are literally forming your own family unit today that's gonna be your own team. I love the team mentality because it's you guys working together towards a common goal, right? And so we know that marriage exists not only to honor God, but to bring joy to us, okay? It's important also to remember that everything that was created before Eve, so before the woman was created, wasn't good enough, right? A good thing about what God is saying there in Genesis 2 is he's saying, listen, all the other things that are in your life that aren't your wife, it might be your job, it might be your passions, it might be your hobbies, those things are going to never fulfill you in the way that he has designed Miranda to. Now, as much as we love Jerry Maguire, right, in the movie where he claims out, you know, you complete me. That's never the weight that God actually puts on you. You're, you're not actually meant to complete one another, but what you bring to the table is supposed to do two things, to cut the grief of life at least in half and to double the joy. I'm Michael, take you, Miranda. To be my wife. To be my wife. I'm Miranda, take you, Michael. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In triumph and in failure. In triumph and in failure. 
to comfort and encourage. To comfort and encourage. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. According to God's holy will. According to God's holy will. I commit myself completely to you. I commit myself completely to you. You know, the beauty of what you just symbolized in the unity of the braid is, is actually a truth from the book of Proverbs. That when you unite your marriage around the Lord, that's a hard bond to break. Today, in front of all who are gathered, I declare, Michael and Miranda, husband and wife, those whom God has joined together, let no one ever separate. Michael, you may kiss your bride. together through their highs and their lows. We all have them. Um, I've seen them all. I have to say that they've been, um, they've both grown so much with God and with each other and I'm so proud of who they are today. They are both so selfless and willing to drop whatever they're doing for anyone and everyone without expecting anything else in return. It is so hard to find friends like this. I'm so thankful to have them as my best friends and that they have each other to travel through this life with. I cannot wait to see where God leads them next. And this is for Denise. Hopefully some babies. <laughs> so before I turn it over to Lucas, um, I need Michael to put his hand, palm down on top of Miranda's. Palm down and hold it, soak it in for just a minute. Feel how that feels. Michael, this will be the last time you will ever have the upper hand. <laughs> It all started with Michael and Miranda was going to Ruzi's for hours. Nearly every day of the week, Michael would just sit there and admire Miranda while she was working. We would wait for Miranda to get off, then help her sweep and mop the floors so we could go do funner things quicker. I have seen y'all's love grow through the years and events, and I remember the day you called and said you were getting, you're going to get Miranda's ring and your plans for the proposal on the new farm you had recently bought together. I look forward to many more cookouts at your new home together with little Michaels and Miranda's running around. And at this time, I would like to give a toast to Michael and Miranda. I wish you the best in life. 